Attack on Titan Season 3 is back, along with a new opening. So what's up guys, Fox in here. Time for an Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 opening breakdown. At the same time, also a manga comparison. Keep in mind this opening is already filled with a ton of spoilers. And honestly, I can't talk about this without going even deeper to the manga spoilers. There's literally a couple of shots shown for like a tenth of a second hiding juicy details in plain sight. So, before getting into this, be sure to give us a call, so thumbs up, and subscribe. Definitely don't miss my Attack on Titan Season 3 Changes video that's coming up next. So, let's go ahead and get started. Time to dive even deeper. Before actually getting into the shot-by-shot -shot breakdown, do notice this whole new opening does have this green tint or filter, and also various splashes of this rainbow color. So first off, let me address the green filter. This is often applied to Mita just to give this feeling of dread. In other words, to make you feel uneasy, which is very suitable for this new season. As for the rainbow color, take your pick, that's either unicorn blood or anime vomit. Either or. Alright, so first off, we have the nuke going off. This of course being the Colossal Titan transformation. In other words, the Colossal Nuke. There seems to be an interesting change from the actual manga panel. Instead of this being a random house with a nuke in the background, they specifically are showing Eren's crushed Homa, which is a nice touch. I've also heard that they brought up the special animator known for doing explosions, so this should be fun. You might be able to see this in like episode 4 or 5. Next up, the actual Colossal Titan. This specific shot shows up in chapter 80. You got the Colossal Titan looking down and red eyes for the anime. This was actually right after he super kicked Eren's Titan. Something super important you should notice is them actually using 2D animation for this shot. This does give me the small Jaws Titan sized hope that they'll actually be mixing regular animation with their beloved CG for the Colossal Titan. You know, similar to the Rod Beyond Colossal Titan for the first season 3 part. Please, please do that. Also, before getting further into this, just notice throughout this they have several of these colorful transitions. Although them actually include several shots of Eren's hometown. I'm actually going to avoid going in depth on them because they're mostly shots from the first episode. Type about the wall, then you have the scouts on the actual wall. This particular shot is either original for this opening, or you actually do have a very similar shot of the scouts jumping to the titans down below in the season 2 opening. It could be a parallel to that. Either that, or you have the third option of this just being the scouts looking for the warriors in the first episode. Take your pick. Next up, Levi just being badass and drawing his blade out in slow motion. This could be so many various shots of Levi from chapter 79. It's right before the beast titan practices baseball shots. Next up, some of the warrior equipment on the ground, specifically that coffee grinder. You actually got to see Armin examine this in detail in the Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 first episode. Next up, some of the scouts, Mr. Horus, Sasha, Armin, and Mikasa. Although these guys have the Thunder Spears in hand. This is definitely when the scouts were watching the Armored Titan versus Eren's Titan, just ready to pounce in. Next up, the Beast Titan Zeke, Reiner, and Bird on top of the wall. If you recall, these guys were actually camping for quite a good while on top of here, just waiting for Eren. The War Chief Zeke here must be giving them a good story time. Next up, the super ultra amazing CG Colossal Titan just throwing up the blazing houses. Of course, it's a little after the Colossal Titan nuke. At this point in the manga, the Colossal Titan was really just trying to destroy everything. Next up, Eren's Crystal Titan Fist. This was Eren just about to get his Titan Crystal Knuckles to smash Reiner's ass. So yes, this is quite the giveaway, and they also kind of already gave it away on the poster. Next up, the Beast Titan Army, them doing their Titan transformation. Something like this actually already happened in the first episode, but looks like the actual Titan transformation is original for the opening. Next up, the Beast Titan's Baseball Throw. This is the Beast Titan after crushing those rocks to increase their effectiveness. I don't know why, but they also spliced in the Beast Titan throwing the boulder for like half a second. Considering the episode 4 is titled Perfect Game, expect this in a few weeks. Then, on the receiving end, you have a ton of scouts getting shredded by the incoming Beast Titan surprise. I'm calling it now, I expect this to at least be partially censored. And here's also hoping that I'm proven wrong. Next up, Erwin's suicide or charge with the scouts. Looks like Erwin is right in front leading his troops. Also looks like they give him a white horse, just so Erwin stands out even more. I think everyone that's read the manga is definitely waiting for this pretty impactful episode. And goddammit, first endgame, and now this in a few weeks. I kinda wish they didn't give this away in the opening. Next up, Eren versus the Armored Titan. Now that Eren's Titan is all nice and hard, he could fully weaponize the Titan Crystal to penetrate Reiner's face. That should be coming up next episode. On top of this, I'm loving the sparkle shiny effect thrown in for the crystal shattering his faceplates. Then you got the reverse side showing the smash from the opposite far angle. I do like the added impact shot of it, it looks so devastating. I wonder if they'll keep the slow motion effect for the actual episode. 
Next up, the scouts and their thunder spears. You have Mr. Horseface, Kony, the potato girl Sasha, all using Hanji's new toys. Of course, all of these are trying to blast open the armored titan's shell. It looks like the Whitstone is really emphasizing the light explosion visuals here. Like I mentioned earlier, supposedly they did bring on that famous animator known for explosion animations. Hopefully you see that in action with the Thunder Spears. Talk about the Thunder Spears, next up is Mikasa. Interesting that they're showing Mikasa after the other guys. You would think it would be the other way around. So pretty much the same thing, this should be coming in the third episode. They may even hint at it in the next episode. Next up, the Nintendo 64 CG Colossal Titan. You got the scouts armed with the Thunder Spears in the air. This whole scene actually happens a little bit later in chapter 80, so maybe episode 5 or 6. At this point in time, the armor titan should have already gone down. I still am hoping that they fix the CG, or at least don't show the bad CG for too long. Next up, Levi approaching the Beast Titan, also known as the Levi vs. the Beast Titan. So yes, they've already flashed this scene in front of your eyes. I know a ton of people are hyped to see this Levi Susha scene in the anime, and I'm definitely included. Although, let's be honest, you can hardly call this a fight. It's pretty much an Ackerman slaughter. I'm almost feeling bad for the Beast Titan. Next up, Hanji all bloody. Very notably, they're showing the side of her face not to show her damaged eye. There should be a brief flashback of Hanji after the Colossal Titan nuke. At this point, she should be coming out of the well and seeing the whole destruction. Not to mention, Moblet missing. Next up, that Colossal Titan Armin phase. Then leading to the shot of Armin waking up. Come on, even if you're anime only, they're making this way too freaking obvious. And look at this major thing that they're throwing right in front of her face. Literally, for one frame, you see a barbecued Armin's face. Oh my god, they know what they're doing. Next up, the back of the Armor Titan getting thunder speared. This should be after the Armor Titan's eyes got blasted off. Notice right here that it is easier to see that trigger mechanism in the anime version. Once again, you should see this around episode 3 since it's called Thunder Spears. That's gonna be so much fun. Next up, this dedicate your heart moment. You got the Beast Titan plus the army plus the horses and soldiers having this glowing heart. This is definitely a callback to them doing the symbolic gesture in the season 2 opening. I'm debating whether this is actually an original scene for this opening, or will they actually show this dedicate your heart symbolism in the actual Erwin charge? That would be a very nice touch, I hope they do it. Next up, the Titan Syringe. This right here is definitely Levi and Eren's hand on it. Of course, at this moment, you should have the dying Erwin and Armin nearby. Then you got Eren's face, looking so pissed off. And no surprise too, this guy just wants to save his dying buddy Armin. Of course, you got a very nice tease of this months back. So yeah, I'm betting that they got done with this whole scene already. Next up, some Titan history with that devil and Ymir. Presumably that art shot from the season 2 ending. Next up, the blimp shown for a fraction of a second. Forget about the Colossal Titan in episode 1. This right here really kicked off the events for Grisha Jaeger. I'm really just trying to think how anime-only people will react to this. Next up, that shell, which is that shell that Armin found at the beach at the very end of chapter 90. In other words, it should be at the final episode. Next up, the internment camps, a blurry shot of it. This actually makes me pretty glad to know that they got some of the artwork done for this. Once again, I am just awaiting the anime-only people reaction to this. Next up, that basement lock, of course for Eren's basement. This right here is really just locking away the world's dark secrets. Kinky Titan porn. Next up, a bunch of Colossal Titans. This scene, of course, being from the season 2 ending. Next up, a bloody looking Erwin shot. This was actually from chapter 80 when Erwin was recalling back to the past fallen scouts. Ultimately, this led to Erwin's motivation to continue dedicating his own heart. Next up, that puddle being stepped on. At first, I thought this was a season 3 ending with Historia, but actually, it's not. It looks similar, but not exactly the same scene. This slight difference may just show Historia's growth. Next up, the Dina photo. Of course, this originally was found in the basement, but you saw the original anime version in that creepy messed up ending. Next up, Queen Historia. This should be Historia after the whole battle taking place right now. In other words, her going over the Ymir's letter. For that scene, I'm really curious to see how much they're actually going to show since they already did the events back in Season 2. Next up, the shot of Erwin with those dead scouts. The two that stand out for me is Mike and Nifa. Anyone recall humanity's second strongest soldier? Poor guy didn't even get mentioned later. Of course, this whole scene is Erwin making up his mind. Next up, the shot of the Wings of Freedoms turning into the Dark Birds. At first, I thought this was in the second opening. I thought it was the same scene, but it's actually just something similar to it. Instead of white birds, you now have black birds instead. If you go with the obvious symbolism, of course, this meaning death is coming. Next up, the shot of the sun. I actually couldn't find any standalone sun shot in any of the openings or endings. Most likely, this is just going with the obvious connection of the titans being connected to sunlight. Aren't solar power titans just awesome? This eventually leads up to the shot of Over the Wall, this being from the very last episode from Season 2. 
which was really leading to that anime original ending, showing Zeke on top of the wall. Next up, the shot of the desert, this desert being the one that Armin referenced once, which greatly influenced Eren, and of course, you have deserts existing outside of the walls. Then overlaid on this desert shot is a quick combo of everything just shown before, only in reverse, extremely quickly. Finally, you have the basement. If you actually go by the reverse shot of the previous events, ultimately this all leads back to the basement, pretty much since the first few episodes. This basement shot is from chapter 85, so maybe you'll see it in episode 7 or 8 for the anime. So I'm definitely curious to see how anime only people will react to this. I got a strong feeling there's going to be a good chunk of complaints. Why is it getting so complicated and flashbacks and why are there no titans? And of course, there's going to be those people twisting this Eldian history situation to negatively attack Isayama. Unfortunately, I have been aware about some of this ongoing stuff over the past year, but this is really always going to be taken to the next level once the anime gets to that point. Let's see what happens. Anyway, more important, let me hear from you. Were you surprised from some of the deeper spoilers hidden in the opening? Did they reveal way too much already? How do you rank this actual new song opening? Feels like they already gave Armin becoming a titan away here. Either way, check out my latest season 3 episode review and other juicy anime videos weekly, and I'll see you guys later.